When you find the net consistently, that brings with it attention. Can he continue along the Europa League goals trail? We're about to find out. Hello to you from the banks of the Douro. We're in Portugal tonight in the city of Porto, getting ready for European action. My name is Derek Ray, joined for commentary tonight by Lee Dixon. Only four teams are left in this competition. It's the second leg of the semi-final in the Europa League. It's Porto facing RB Leipzig. Well, Derek, with that poor away leg, the home side are left with Everest to climb. A quick goal is imperative. Thank you. Enjoy the game. It's the second and decisive leg of this Europa League semi-final, and the match commences. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, the formation tonight might be 4-4-2, but I think it's fair to say, Lee, it's 4-4-2 with a difference. Well, it is. You've got that holding midfield player just in front of the back four. The width comes from the wide players and the overlapping fullbacks. The two up front would be supplied with ammunition from that player in midfield, just playing in that number 10 area. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. What do you think about this particular setup? Well, strikers like support, and they've got support today in the number 10. We've also got three midfield players behind, two slightly wide. Not far away at all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique. And oh, so close. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. The ball with Jesus Corona. Oh, he's through here. Only the keeper to beat. Excellent defending. Just couldn't quite keep us in play. And a good-looking ball. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Well, let's see. Does he mean business? Is he going to punish them here? Forsberg. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, great read there to intercept. And now Rodriguez. The ball with Jesus Corona. And on the ball, Sergio Oliveira. Well, I must say it's a fine-looking attack. But what can they do from this position? Options are plenty. And that's a corner. And a deep corner into the centre of the area. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. And the defender takes care of business. And on the ball, Sergio Oliveira. Will there be a tangible end product? Oh, it's off the post. Keeper didn't quite do enough. Well, it was so, so close there to taking the lead, but the Woodworks, the goalkeeper's friend on that occasion. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. Clattered away. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Now, what can he do here? Oh, surely. Fine reaction save from the goalkeeper. Goalkeeping at its best. Really, really top draw. They've taken this corner short. Thumped clear. Mario Rui. And attempting the through ball. And now can he keep calm? The angle didn't really favour him, not too far away. Well, I guess it's worth a chance. He's in a tight angle there, but could he pull it back to a teammate? 
He's given us away. Now, can he make this move count? Well, he's given us away. Carrying a genuine threat here. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Andre Silva. Running with the ball confidently. Now, let's see. Does he mean business? Andre Silva. And on the basis of that effort, quite clearly, he's not wearing his shooting boots at the moment. Well, it was a strong effort, used his laces, but uh, screwed it well off target. First half here comes to an end. It will be settled tonight, the second leg of the Europa League semi-final, and the second half is underway. Ndidi, Bazelli, Andre Silva with it. The tackle crisp and accurate. Sergio Oliveira. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Is he going to punish them here? And he's made headway. Does he have the beating of the goalkeeper? Just a bit too high with that powerful effort. Yeah, he's just leaned back, Derek. Power was there, but not the direction. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Will there be a tangible end product? Now he must favour the cross. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Substitution time it is. surely the first goal of the match and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them it's taken a while but the pressure has taken its toll so the match has restarted 1-0 here now what can he do here off the post and a goal it is they lead by two now fully deserved so 2-0 now Ndidi Bruma in possession he might be able to profit from the wide position and Suarez with it Evie and a strong tackle ball lost Mario Rui giving the ball to the opposition that time running towards goal one man to beat well it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper There might well be scope for them to counter-attack here.
Now indeedy. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? Bad blow to his upper thigh in the last challenge, but at the moment, he's staying on the field. Cheers, Jeff. Inside the last quarter and fed forwards. Well, let's see, does he mean business? And he couldn't take advantage of that opportunity from close range, Lee. How close does he want to be to score? He's gone for power and fluffed his lines. Crossed into the penalty area. Not messing around with that clearance. Vili Orban. And dispossessed. By no means on his own here. And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. It'll be a corner. Corner kick played in. And clears his lines. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. And cleared away. And not afraid. And a wild, wild attempt from long range. Not one for his highlight reel. Well, it's a poor choice. He's got other options on. Why is he shooting from that distance? Daniele Bazelli. Andre Silva with it. Now, can he make this move count? A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Felipe. We have entered the final minute of... No more time left. The referee blows his whistle and the celebrations can truly begin because they've made it through to the Europa League final. Well, going into this semi-final, you'd expect teams to be nervous, not sure of the outcome. When we look at the outcome now, it's too easy for them. Confidence will be building after that result. Can they keep that confidence and pick the trophy up in the next game? We'll wait and see.